So I got a lot of stunning weapons. I think this is all of them. I'm unsure. But what I plan to do with these stunning weapons is I plan on making a series of me using every single one of them because a lot of them go unused. For example, today we're looking at Silver Six, the two flintlock pistols, which are incredibly fun to use. I haven't used these that much. I had it took some getting used to, so I actually did configure with them a little bit just so I had like the gist of what I was doing. But the whole point of this series is to actually, you know, get me to use my weapons because I bought all these starting weapons with my echoes and I hardly use any of them. So I'm gonna go through every single one of them and get to power 20 with every single one of them. So, I uh, began my journey with a little bit of trialing. A little bit of trial. Trial of one. And I'm not gonna show you the first attempt because I'm honestly too embarrassed to say that I actually died to the Megalodon. But, this is what happened. Boom. Got past the parry check. This is how the Shaco fight went. Oh, I, I, I knew it, dude. These Shakos are getting sneaky. Oh, I, that's the actually I told you. Like, oh, I hate it when they do that. I, I hate charcos are getting smart, and I don't like that. I prefer I prefer the dumb charcos. See, I don't like how much they kick now. See, oh my god, dude, I hate them so much. Oh, there we go. Right. So after successfully killing that shark off, I then powered up. And I got some interesting cards, but the ones I ended up picking in the end were Moving Fortress, Blood Iron Spirit. I then went for Mystery Mancha and luckily got Windblade, which is the one that I wanted. And then I just went for Vitality. The reason I'm putting all my points into Vitality is because I want as much health as I can possibly get for the trial. That will effectively negate me getting penalized so much for being hit by the enemies. So after the shark call, everyone knows what time it is, it's time for Golem. Now Golem, in my opinion, is actually the best enemy in the trial. I would happily fight a Golem over like a Thresher or an Angel. Like these things that other people find easy, I just don't for some reason. But anyway, this fight went extremely smoothly. After an easy fight with the golem, uh, then comes a challenge. Me personally, I struggle a lot with Threshers, especially with parrying their little three bite move and their tail swipe in the burrow and the, a bunch of stuff that they have. So yeah, next up was the Thresher, but I think my reaction just says it all to be honest. Now it is a Thresher. Oh god, I hate these ones so much, man. Yeah, I'm doing alright, I'm doing alright, I'm doing better than I normally do. Surprisingly, the Thresher fight actually wasn't that bad, and I'm pretty proud of myself for doing fairly well. Normally it goes horrifically, but this time, for some reason, I just did good. Burrow. Please, ah, god. There we go, alright. Fuck, I'm gonna get hit, I'm gonna get hit. No, I'm good. But anyway, regardless, here's the rest of the fight. Yeah, yes, thank God, dude. I was actually, I was, I went silent. I went a little bit silent because I was a little bit worried. So then, after finally beating the Thresher, I powered up once again. This time, the cards I picked were Fishman. I picked this one for the plus five health. I then went for Ready or Not, and then finally Hardened Nerves alongside another Vitality. Thought it'd also be good to update you on how my attunement points are looking. So by the end of all of this stuff that I've done so far, I effectively were dumping them into light weapons and fortitude trying to balance it out fortitude of course is for the health and light weapons is for that little bit more damage that i'm gonna need for the tougher enemies because light weapons does like no damage so we're about halfway through the trial now 
was just beaten the Thresher, and up next is actually, I'd say, equally as hard as an enemy. Luckily, I did beat them. I spoiled it, I know, but I did beat them. Like the Thresher, they actually wasn't that hard. These are the two angels I spawn, and normally I have trouble, but this time, I guess I just didn't have any trouble. But, uh, here's the whole fight. It didn't take very long. There we go. Let me grab your friend. Okay. Thank God. Normally I struggle against those guys. Fuck you. <laughs> I hate angels so much. Perfect. Okay. Alright. Give me... Um... Rage Collapse. I want Impervious Slumber. That is what I want. Health pack. That is actually from the gods. Okay. Health pack. That is great. Uh... Ephos? Tornado kick actually might help because it jumps me up in the air, so that might help. It is Enforcer. Now, the tone has been set. This is where the trials start to get a little bit tricky, a little bit tough. You know, the cream of the crop, the top of the top is actually... This is this is the deep end of the trial. We've got the, we've got the little baby shallow end with the charcoal and the golem and the thresh and the angels. And then we've got the deep end. This is the bottom of the iceberg. So, right now, is actually this is actually going to be really underwhelming, but the Enforcer's... I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not even looking at the footage. I think I struggle. I, I like Enforcer's not that hard. I'm gonna be honest. He's kind of easy. But this is how the fight went. Yeah, I'm a little bit silent, but I am concentrating. That's why. Ah, oh, fuck that up. Fuck that up. Fuck. Oh my god, my argument when someone points out on Polis. I'm gonna get block broken. Fuck. How am I not? I'm not complaining. Okay, wait, I got, I'm getting my posture back now. Die! Jesus Christ! How much health does this guy actually have? Oh, dude, I couldn't get that second attack in. Fuck. I'm. Oh my god, my argument. It's. I'm. Fu I'm actually fucking up so bad. I'm selling. Fuck. Oh, dude, I got saved by the gods. What the hell? After a rocky road with the Enforcer, I powered up once again. This time I went for Ether Kit, Uproar, Warrior's Respite, and Vitality again. I could have taken Proficiency just so I can do a little bit more damage with my guns, because I understand I'm doing like no damage. But, uh, but I don't really care, bro. Why not? Uh, it is a night now, I think. Yup, you heard the man right. It is now a desert night. These guys, these little scoundrels who spawn at Star Swept, I'm gonna be honest with you, these guys are so easy to fight. But I- Oh my god, I forgot how to fight. Dude, come on. You see me fumble a little bit, but honestly, trust me when I say these guys are so easy. Watch how quickly this guy dies. The whole fight is over in less than a minute. Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot they have, like, no health. I, I don't know what, don't ask, don't even ask what happened at the start, I'm gonna keep it so real with you, I do not know what was going on. I forgot 
the F key exists. I powered up once again this sand picking exoskeleton, impervious slumber, and finally air force. Now we're in the end game of the trial. I have one more parry check, which is extremely easy. You can see me just parrying everything here. And then we have a huge fight as the final test of the trial. Just before we endure the most painful experience of the trial so far, I'm gonna show you what my investment points are looking like right now. It's effectively the same thing, just a lot higher, you know, fortitude and light weapon. I then yeah, powered up for a final time, and here oh are the list. cards I picked. Uh, dude, there's no way- oh, I'll just take that, screw it. Crap, for no reason, five health, dude, I'm nearly- I'm beefed up right now, bro. If I die, it's actually a skill issue, because I got vitality four. I'm tempted, I'm tempted to think. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take weapon skinning just because of the amount of things I have. What's it called? Um, the amount of health cards I have combined with my 50 fortitude. And now time for the greatest punishment I could ever ask for. I'm just gonna let the clip speak for itself because honestly, I have no words. Oh, fuck. Oh fuck, I'm dead. Nope, I'm good. Fuck, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm so dead. I'm dead, bro. Ah! Stop! So, I didn't beat the trial. But it's fine because I completely expected to get to that point and I feel I expected to die. I wasn't trying to die, of course. We got to power eight, if I remember, or eight or nine. And then after that, I did a little bit of depth grinding. From what I remember, I was killing jellyfish. Combo. Jesus. That's actually rude. Oh my god, that's actually cyberbullying. What the hell? Oh my leg! Uh, well, I was a sparring partner for Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali? That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're at slope gate. I think we're close to slope gate. No, I'm just completely wrong. Okay. You know what? No, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna go around because I don't feel like navigating through the maze of a city that uh, that, that that is. Okay, I was rude. There's a headcrab behind me. Oh god, it's crap! Why is it so fast? What the fuck? Oh, good gracious grief. Oh, good gracious grief. I fuck- I heard the little, like, swings behind me. I was actually terrified. What I might do? I might do willpower and get a- Oh, Jesus. Bro, everything's after me right now. Oh, a shotgun. It is corrupted, so it does do more damage. And uh, I don't want to get killed by the void, so I'm probably not going to fight that. Alright, I paused my recording, but I don't pause it because this guy's following me. Oh, out, damn. I actually, I, I for real just got a skill issue. I'm gonna keep it so real with you. No! Jesus Christ, man! Come, come over here! Come, come over! Here. Oh, I can't do. Right, he's dead, bro. Bro, he hit me the second I was done with um tornado kick. I paused the recording, but basically what happened is that those next part are flying around. He was invisible, and he was flying, right? And he tried to hit me. First time he missed, second time he also missed. I dodged the second one, and I just lagged. So, plus the gate was closed, so I had to log anyway. I made my way out fairly quickly and completed my trial. This is how my trial went. If they give me a shotgun, that would be ideal. Uh, of course, it's a you. Alright, that was a little bit nerve wracking because I, I struggle real bad against these, but. 
turns out we prevailed. And with me almost beating the trial and escaping the depths, that concludes my first Silver 6 video. Silver 6 is a ton of fun. I really like the whole idea of having to alternate between left click and right click to efficient kill someone. It's an interesting change of pace from just spamming R or M1. So it's definitely very fun to use and it's you know stepping out of a comfort zone. Lava. I think that more people should use it. And uh, it's a ton of fun, but I hope you enjoyed. Super a wonderful addition to parties and funerals, also police suspicion. I think there's something shiny behind your ear. I can also make your daughter's virginity disappear. Take a look at my magic stick. It makes dreams come true with just one lick.